friends and welcome back to my channel and to this video where I am gonna I'm gonna try on my favorite lashes for you. I'm gonna try on my favorite lashes I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how I get lashes to work for me Some things that I have learned along the way. I have been wearing lashes since I was 18 like this is not a YouTube thing for me. I have been wearing false lashes for years and years and years and years For me, this is something very easy and I'm just gonna show you my favorite styles I'm gonna put one on each eye just so you can see the difference Between them and you can see what kind of an effect they give to the eye and hopefully you will pick up some tips and tricks along the way And if nothing else you get to see which my favorite lashes are and you get to see them on the eyes And if you haven't been there before my name is Angie. Hello. I am a lover of fashion and makeup especially colorful things I am slightly more muted than Today I'm actually doing a wear test on a foundation, the Fenty uh, powder foundation, so if you haven't caught that, that's already live on my channel, but let's jump into this video, but don't forget to subscribe in case you want to see some more fun things on your timeline, because I do upload several times a week. Okie dokie, so what I'm gonna do, let's zoom in. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna let the autofocus be on, so if you hear some kind of a noise in the background, that is the autofocus. How is my foundation looking? I think it's looking pretty okay. <laughs> like I said, trying out a foundation. So I have, these are actually my favorite, five favorite lashes, and I have uh, some double ups on them because I want to show you close up how they look uh, before you actually, like, cut them up. These are ranging from very, like, not natural, but more like flirty half lashes to full on glam glam -a glam lashes and I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna let you know about it gonna give you some tips and tricks these are the two tools don't judge how dirty they are these are the two tools that I use when I do my false lashes a tweezer to just apply the inner part of the lash it helps so much and one of these tools that I put between the lash on the upper side like one side on the false lash and one on your reel and you just pinch them together and you go and you pinch together. This one is from Kix, but I do know that other brands sell them. I'm sure you can find them at like Ulta and like Sephora. I'm sure of it, even probably at Amazon. This is such a helpful thing. It's like a sponge up here and it presses your lashes and the false lashes together so you don't get the dreaded gap. Nobody wants the gap. You have seen it. You've seen it. Some of your favorite influencers sometimes have it. The gap. Another tip that I really want to recommend to you is to check out your glue. What glue are you using? Some people I see tell me that their eyes are watering and they're always irritated when they're wearing false lashes. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you're also allergic to latex. I use the House of Lashes glue or the Duo glue, the green one. Both of these two are latex free, but if you feel like your eyes are watering and they're irritated and they're itching when you're wearing false lashes, it might not be you, it might not be the lash, it might be the glue. Another tip, and I know everyone is talking about this, let your glue dry down before you put on the lash. And I'm not talking 20 seconds, I'm talking a minute, a minute and a half, like actually let it dry down. It will change color, it will become a bit more see-through and tacky, and that's gonna be so much easier when you're applying the lash, trust me on this one. Otherwise, it's just gonna move around on your eye. Let it dry down a bit. It, it, it is a game changer. And also, don't forget to cut your lashes a bit. Before you apply them the first time when they're new, Put them just on your eye to see, because for most people, unless you have really big doe eye, you are gonna have a lash that's too long for your eye. Cut them a bit, but always cut them in the outer corner, because in the inner corner, normally lashes are a bit flared. So if you cut them there, it's just gonna be like one big spike that starts, always cut them at the end. I have a cut away like three millimeters or something, sometimes four from lashes to get them to be perfect for me. So don't be afraid to cut away a bit, because it is gonna help them to be more comfortable and to not lift in the inner corners. If that is a problem for you, it's probably because you haven't cut them. Another tip that I want to say, and this is something that I see a lot of big YouTubers do, and I've done this before myself, is to forget to put some black eyeliner on the glue. When you're all done, you have used your tools, you have used your glue, they're on the eyes, they look perfect. Look down and then put some black eyeliner on the lash band, not on your lid, on the lash band where the glue is showing. To even it out, to make the glue not be visible because otherwise every time you blink, people are gonna see the glue. If you put black on top of it, it's gonna look like it's part of the lash band. That is my biggest tip. 
to pinch to not get the gap and to put some uh, black eyeliner you can use eyeliner pen you can use a black um, uh, like eyeshadow on a fine brush as well just to cover up the glue because it's so easy to use a little too much glue and the glue is showing through and just cover that up with some black so it mixes in with the lash band that's gonna make all the difference now let's try some of these i first wanted i brought these out these are the ones i've used these are the ones i've used i'm gonna show you the ones i haven't used these are two of my favorite lash styles these are the original iconics and the iconic lights let me show you the difference so on top are the iconic lights and on bottom is the original iconics both of these are from house of lashes these are two of my favorite styles i have mentioned these as my yearly favorites two years in a row one year i said iconic the other year i said iconic lights the difference between these is that the iconic lights are not as thick not as fluffy they're just a little more bit more demure there are also iconic i think they're called iconic mini I'm not sure, but there are also a style of Iconics that are shorter if you have less lid space. I have a lot of lid space though, but if you have less lid space, there is an Iconic style from House of Lashes that are shorter, so they don't touch your eyebrows. But these are new ones. I just want to show you, but I do have ones that I've been using. I'm gonna put one on each eye. I'm gonna put one on each eye, and you're gonna see the difference on the eyes between these two, because I love them both. They're an absolutely amazing lash style. I think they're so, so pretty. So hopefully you will see that too. And these are a bit more cut up. I've already cut these up because I have used them. So I know that they are gonna uh, fit like my eyes. Okay, so these are the iconic lights. <laughs> Need to keep this part. Okay, I'm gonna put the first lash on. This is the original iconic. I'm just putting it on with my hands. And this is where I take off my tweezers. I take off my tweezers and I take my tweezers on the lash and I use it to get the inner part to be where I want it to be. And then I just press it down with my fingers a bit. And I leave it like this to dry for a couple of minutes. I'm putting on the light one on the other side and then I'm gonna go in with the, the pinchy tool and I'm gonna pinch them together. So I've already done some pinching on this side with the tool. Now I'm going to do it on this side. So I put it on both sides. And I just literally pinch everything together. And these lashes with a black band is always going to look a bit more seamless when you do it. I'm just going to fix it with my fingers, this last part. When you do it uh, with an eyeliner or a dark eyeshadow. But this is the difference between the Iconics Original and the Iconic Light. You can see these are thicker. They're not necessarily longer, but they are thicker. And they're just more like more lashes I hope you can see the difference but I like both of them I like both of them this is my preferred lash when I'm having a dramatic look especially one that's like lifted upwards in a cat shape I love that this is great for a little softer look or when I don't want the lashes to really like take over but I love both of these uh, lash styles and hopefully now you can see the difference between the original iconics and the iconic lights I think they're both amazing styles and like I said the black band it will get a lot better if you like use a tool like this but always with a black band it's always gonna look better if you have a little bit of eyeliner or if you are using it on a like a darker eyeshadow base I'm having a very light eyeshadow on today so it's always gonna show a little but I feel still like it's not like it's really visible other than that I'm having two different lashes on that is visible but let me take these off and I am gonna put on to my other styles the most like flirty see-through band these are the sosu by Suzanne Jackson Carla lashes these were mentioned in my yearly favorites this is the duff lashes in Viva Glam these are the most intense lashes ever and these are the lashes I go for when I want the Vava Boo oopsie so let me put those on and you can see the absolute difference that lashes do okay here you can see the biggest difference this is the Carla lashes by Sosu by Suzanne Jackson and this is the duff lashes in Viva Glam 
These are a faux mink lash. Both of these lashes are synthetic, but these are made to look like a natural lash. Like these are made to look a bit more bushy, a bit more not 100% symmetrical. And this one is meant more to be like a symmetrical lash. For this look, the eye look that I have today, which is literally a glitter shadow all over my lid, I do prefer the Carla lash because it looks, I mean, honestly, it looks a bit more appealing to this look. But when I'm having a really dramatic look, I do love a lash like this because it really does bring something to that dramatic look. But of course, for me, it, it, it requires the right kind of look and the right kind of occasion. <laughs> But I do love this lash. I love how it looks. I think it's so, so pretty. And I love that it's not just a wall. It's just not a wall of like um, hairs. It is a bit separated. There is a bit crisscross going on. And I, I do like how it looks. And it's also pretty comfortable on and not that heavy. I like both of these lashes. They're both my favorites. Of course, I'm showing you my six favorite uh, ones, but these are the ones that are like on the opposite end. Although I will say the last pair that I'm gonna put on, which is also by Sosu by Susan Jackson, this is a new brand that I've discovered. I love the lashes so far that I've tried. This is Envy and this is a half lash. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put this on one eye and not on the other, just to show you what a half lash can do for your eyes. But yeah, these are these two lashes. I hope you, uh, <laughs> I hope you like this little try on. I, I've really been enjoying this video actually. It's been it's been a lot of fun, but let's put on the last one. Okay, so here I have the Envy lashes on this side and on this side I have no lashes at all. I don't think that this looks unnatural. This doesn't look like a super obvious lash, but of course when you see it next to my actual lashes, you can see a clear like difference. But I really love how these look, and especially with something like this that's very open and no darkness towards the inner part of the eyes, I think a half lash like this is so, so pretty. So I really, really do love how this looks. Let me put the other one on and we can finish this video. Okay, that was it. I have the lashes on now, the Envy lashes. I really like how these, I love how I'm the slackiest person alive today. I just. This is the mood I was in. Let me know about your favorite. What are your favorite lashes? Am I missing out? There are a couple of lashes from Bold Face Lashes called the Double Takes. I also really love those, but I had to get rid of them because I've used them so much that they actually fell apart. That happens with lashes sometimes. But if you take care of them, you can use your lashes 10, 20 times, depending on the quality of them. The thicker the lash band, the longer you can use them. Usually, uh, some lashes, even though they have a little bit of a thicker band, they are incredibly easy to wear and to put on. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean that they're hard to put on or hard to wear or anything like that. It depends on the quality of the lashes. But yeah, these are my favorites right now. I would love to hear about your favorites. I will also try and remember to link the bow face lashes, the double take ones, because I really do like those as well. Unfortunately, I don't have them with me, but I intend to purchase them again in the future when I get the opportunity. Again, thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day.